Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, and this is episode 77. It is a Tuesday evening, um, March 17th. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know the world is crazy right now. I know it. I know it. A lot of people are posting funny memes and all kinds of crazy crazy stuff, but I know deep, in, deep down inside, some of us don't even want to admit it, but... It's a little spooky, man. It's a little scary, the stuff that we have to go through. Um, I can't sit there and watch the news all day. I would just be totally unproductive. I would not be able to to do anything. Angel could watch it all day long, but even if it's not this, she just loves the news. Um, I can't. I can't. It tends to, to, to kind of drag me down a little bit. I need to be perked up. I need to be motivated. I need to be positive. This is the personality that I normally have. And this is what I need in order for me to function. You know, I'm not into, I get people once in a while that call me up. And they're going to call me with some, some sorry shit that, you know, telling me about their problems and this. And I understand and I do listen. And it's cool once in a while. We all we all have it. We all have problems. And sometimes we need somebody we can talk to. But then I got those that never talk positive stuff. Like it's like every time they speak, it's it's negative. It's sad. It's depressing. And I just can't. I can't do it. You know, it just it it just it drives me crazy. And sometimes I feel like it's unfair, you know. Listen, sometimes I can talk to people and you would never know I'm going through a crisis. You would never know. Um, That's just not what I want to portray, you know. Now, if it's a close family member, your spouse, maybe even a close friend, and very rarely a close friend, um, for me at least. I don't have anybody at that level where... um, I mean, I do. I have a couple, you know, like Fernando, maybe a couple, you know, RPD, and uh, maybe a couple, a couple other people, uh, but not that many, not that many. It's very, very few. Um, and yeah, you know, I always keep in mind that other people, all, everybody has their own shit. Everybody's going through their own stuff, and you know, you know, why, why throw that on them? And when you, when you finally get to talk to people, unless you're looking for advice, you know. Try to, I don't know, I, I, I just think, you know, it's best to try to keep it on a positive note. Um, you know, you figure like this, we, we're, we have this, what they call a self-isolation or self-quarantine, whatever they're doing. Um, make the best of it. What can you do? What can you do if you're stuck in the house for 15 days, you know? Can you write? Can you read? Can you learn a new language? How about an instrument? Do something. Bills shouldn't be much of an issue because um, all the companies are basically deferring stuff and kind of working with us. Thank God, because that would be an issue. Um, For all of us, that would be an issue. That's just life. Um, A lot of the businesses are going to have a hard time. It's just, we're just going through it right now, you know? But, you know, I want people to kind of keep positive and, you know, use this time to reflect, trying to see, you know, where you're at in life. Is this what you want? You know, you know, have you done everything? You know, we don't know, man. They're, they're talking about all these people passing away now. And, you know, it's scary. They're not telling us the conditions of the people. Now, they're talking about, oh, yeah, in two days, 170 people died. Or, I, I'm just making up the numbers. I don't, I'm not sure, guys. So don't don't quote me. It could be more, could be less. 170 people passed away. That are, Okay, but normally how many people pass away every day? You know what I'm saying? They're saying of the, of the virus. I don't know, man. I don't know. So, 
I um I really don't talk to her until I get with you guys. <laughs> now I'm talking about trying to keep it keep it light, trying to keep it positive. I'm bringing this up to you because you know, but basically because I know we're all in the same boat. We're all thinking the same way, more or less. You know, yeah, I try to mask it. I try to hide it. You know, I, I throw it up in the in the in the back. But you know, I can't help to worry. I got kids and I I got grandkids. I have a daughter who's in Germany. She's in freaking Europe. Italy's going through it right now. And she's in freaking Germany, you know? So, and she's in the military and she works in the hospital. Like, her strikes are there, man. It's it's really, really scary. It's really scary. And all we can do is pray, you know? And hope that they're protecting, you know, our soldiers, you know? Because, you know, they're, they're at their disposal. They got to do whatever they're told. They can't, at this point, make the decision as to, well, you know what? I can't, I don't want to do that today. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to stay in because it's safe. Man, they can't do that. They don't have that. They don't have that. They're not like our regular jobs, you know, we can take off and just say, hey, man, you know what, whatever, fire me. I'm going, I'm staying home. Not the military, man. The military puts you in jail. So you can't. But, you know, find, you know, find, find something, you know, figure out what the, you know, this is a downtime for us. Sometimes we need this. Sometimes, you know, you know, you need a, a, a space to kind of recalculate your life, kind of look at everything, try to see where your priorities are. You know, seeing if maybe it's time for a change. Maybe you need to do something else. You know, if the money's not right, maybe you need to figure that out. Um, if you're just not happy, but the money's great, maybe you need to figure that out. To me, that's even more important. You know, I, I, I will always advise anyone to choose a job you love over the amount of money you're gonna make. I'm sorry, I know, yeah, but you know, if we make this money, we're, we can pay all our bills on time. Yeah, okay, but you're not gonna be happy. So which way do you rather not be happy? I'd rather not be happy. I'd rather be happy for, you know, the eight hours a day that I have to be at work. I could deal with the few hours that I have to worry about not paying the bills. I can, there's always a, a way around that, you know? I'm not talking about quit your job and take up a hobby that you're not getting paid for. I'm talking about, you know, finding something that you you have some sort of passion for, you know. That's very important. The thing is, we're not going to realize how important this is until we're, we're too old to do anything about it. It's going to be it's gonna be done. So, what have I been doing? Okay, well, I've been most of the time. I mean, people still call and they're still getting quotes. Uh, but everybody's pushing stuff off to after this. And I expect that. I mean, I really don't expect anyone to to book now, you know. Even though now might be a good, a good idea because the flights are so cheap. They can buy the flights and, you know, put the flights off for a few months, you know, see what happens. Um, I mean, if they book for me or they book any of my acts, I can always get them to change the date if we're not at a situation. By showtime. You know, nobody wants to go and do, do a show at, a, at an empty house. You know, nobody wants to do that. But um, I've been spending uh, pretty much all of my day writing, all of my day. So I only have a few days, maybe six days left to get these books done. They go up on Kindle. Um, uh, once they're up on Kindle, then I'm kind of free and clear as far as with Amazon. I'm not going to have my penalty. But then I have to go back in and uh, finish doing the rewrites. I have to do them right uh, the, the cer a certain way for um, the actual print, for the print books. Uh, and then that. So I'm looking at that maybe... Uh, I mean, I'm going to get right on it. So, I mean, if I could get it done in a couple of days, that's fine. If not, you know, it's going to probably, you know, go in, you know, maybe extend another week or two. So, uh, I got a handful of people, but I'll reach out to them that I I, um, I was hoping that I could get the books to them by the 27th. Uh, the Kindles will be aver available, but uh, don't, don't get the Kindles. They're going to be priced too high. Um, I just need to put them as Kindles because that's my promise to Amazon. But I'm going to change that. Once I get them up, I might pull them off. I might pull them down for a little while and uh, until I finish the paperbacks and get those out. Um, they're coming out really good, though. The books are pretty exciting. You know, I, I really, if you have any kind of, uh, I mean, if you grew up in, in, the, in the 70s and 80s and you were into music and somehow, even as a fan, if you was a, a fan of hip hop back in the 80s and then you got into freestyle, I mean, you might want to check these books out. They're pretty, uh, 
they're pretty exciting. You know, they kind of tell a little bit of the history of what's going on, where it came from, and so on. Uh, and then there's a lot of, you know, other craziness. If you guys read my Freestyle for Life, you know my books can get kind of crazy. You know, I talk about the sex and the drugs and everything else in between. So, um, definitely want to check it out. Definitely want to check it out. But I, I kind of want to get it done with, you know, I'm a writer. I got a million stories in me. I have, I've had a few people come to me and say, hey, man, I have this great idea for a story. You think you can help me? And I'm like, I can't help you. Sorry. I got a million stories in my head that I'm trying to get. <laughs> I'm trying to release. If you need some advice, if you need me to give you some tips, you call me or email me every day. I'll be more than happy to help you out. I am more than happy because it's a big job. I understand, you know. I'm not worried about competition, so I don't have a problem helping people. I do not. Because um, I think, especially if we're writing towards our genre, with writing with the freestyle genre in mind, um, I think we need a collection of books. I, I don't think they should all come from me anyway. I, I think that's that'd be kind of boring. I think it I think it'd be kind of dope if we all, you know, if more people were right, you know? So I think it's a great idea. If you can, it, it is a, a bit of a task. If you don't you really have have to have a discipline. I before I tackled it, I thought about doing it back in the days, and I could not bring myself to doing it. Like I was like, "Damn, how do you start?" Excuse me, guy. I mean, to to yawn. I just been I've been I've been on the hustle man since this morning, man. I just got off the computer. I get up every once in a while, I stretch a little bit, you know. Then I get in here and. Um, that's why I do good night freestyle right before I shut down because I'm tired. So, <laughs> so, so the yawning kind of works with the title of the podcast, you know. But um, but yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, that's pretty much. It's not not a lot going on, really. Um, I go on Facebook and um, I see a few releases coming out, and I'm always encourage people to to get them, to get them. Now, now this is the deal. I've said this before. I don't think anyone should buy anything that they're not feeling. That's a hell no. That's a hell no. Even if it's from me. If you, if you, you know, if you read one of my books, you don't like them, you don't want to buy the rest, whatever. You don't need to support me by that. You can support me by giving me a like on my Facebook post or something. That's cool. I'm good with that. I appreciate that. I've been doing these TikTok videos. Have you guys been seeing these? Have you been checking them out? Um, a couple things. I, I love I love doing them. I just I'm very creative. I love doing them, and I like the format. I keep them real short, 15 seconds, like real short. So it's like, okay, what can I do in this short period of time? And um, I think, especially now during this time, I just want to kind of bring some light to Facebook. So all the people are posting, even when they do joking shit, when they do a joke and they show some empty shells, yeah, it's funny. But it's also serious. It's some serious shit. It's real. So we can laugh at it all we want, but that shit could creep up on us. Um, so I, I want to I wanna do some more lighthearted stuff. I would love to, if I could make people laugh. I, I laugh. I watch my own videos a bunch of times because I think they're funny. They're just funny, you know? And, um, and uh, you know, so if you guys are on TikTok, I do it on TikTok. I like the format. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I love social media, man. I have um, a, an account almost everywhere. Tumblr, Instagram, Reddit, Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, TikTok. Uh, God, who else? Um, MySpace. <laughs> you know? Um, who else I got? Who else I got? Let me see. Twitter, of course. Of course, YouTube. That's my primary platform uh, that I'm building. Uh, but I love it. I love the expression. I just, I'm a just creative dude. I just love doing them. And when I can make someone laugh or someone has something to say about it, you have no idea how good it makes me feel. So if you really want to make me feel good, comment on my, on my, especially my videos. Anything where I'm creative, comment. If you don't care how I feel, then don't comment. <laughs> but if you, you know, yeah, I, I, they really mean a lot to me when people, but, you know, sincere comments, you know, and that's what I get. That's why I don't ask people to comment. I'm bringing that up now. I'm saying if, if that's something that you, you know, you, you kind of want to give back, a, a cool comment is, is always, always makes me feel good. And I read all of them. I check them out and I laugh. 
So if you see me put a little smiley face that's laughing, one of them little laughing emojis, it's because I'm seriously laughing, you know? Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so I've been doing those. I did, I did, uh, I think I had a few with Santana. I got one I did today with, with Angel. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty funny. I got a few more I want to do with her. Um, they, my family just love, we just love doing that. We, we enjoy it. We have a, we get a kick out of it, you know? And, I'm, and all those who have been liking them, uh, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate them. It means a lot. And uh, that's it. Um, concerts, you know, are stagnant. They're stagnant right now, you know? So is it going to stay like this? Hell no. Nah, don't worry about that. It will be back. We'll be back on track soon. We just got to do this a little bit, you know? But definitely try to stay stay safe, guys, you know? Do what they say. Wash your hands. Try not to be touching your face, you know? You know, try not, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. Wash the kids. Kids don't like to wash their hands, so you gotta maybe wash their hands for them, you know? Get them in the habit, especially if they're real little. But, um, you know, just gotta, we just gotta, you know, take it easy. Be safe. Hospitals are not, you know, I'm praying I don't get, I don't catch any of this crap because. Man, just the thought of going to a hospital. You know, think about it. I don't I don't go to hospitals. I really don't. Thank God. Yet. Yeah, I mean I could try to tell you this today and tomorrow I'll be end up in the hospital. But um I remember going to the hospital for my tonsils, get them out, that was it. Some stitches, that's it. I remember one time I was with Angel, we were living in the Bronx, and I sneezed. It was so crazy. Cause I remember we were in the bedroom. It was when we lived out there. And I sneezed so hard that I kind of collapsed on the bed. She was like, what the hell happened? And I couldn't move. And I swear, I thought I cracked a rib. That's how bad it was hurting me, man. So, and, um, so she was like, okay, she goes, I said, I think, and I never want to go to a hospital or to a doctor, but I told her, I think I gotta go to the hospital, man. I think I, I think I cracked a rib or broke a rib or something, cause I am in pain. So, went to the hospital. I waited there for a while, and finally they got me in. They took X-rays. They found nothing. Nothing was broken. They gave me a Tylenol PM and sent me on my merriest way. And a week later, I received a bill for 500 bucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we, you know, after that, man, we're like, what the hell? You know, she's like, you're crazy. She goes, you thought you broke your rib. She goes, you, you got a fee paid for a $500 Tylenol PM. You know, so, but uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, yeah, so I tried to, you know, nobody likes to be in a hospital. So I hate when people say, oh, I don't like hospitals. Oh, I don't like funerals. Oh, Nobody likes funerals. If you like funerals, then you have an issue. Nobody likes hospitals unless you work in a hospital and you're a doctor. Nobody likes those things. So stop saying that, man. We just don't want to go. <laughs> Simple. Nobody wants to go. Nobody wants to go. Sometimes we have to go. You know? But who the hell goes to a funeral just to go? Yeah, I'm just going to, let's go. That's like, you know, back in the days, people used to, I think they still do it. People just go to courtrooms. I remember when I was little, my mom was going to take me to a courtroom just to watch a case. She was like, you want to go? We could go to a courtroom and you could, we could watch a case. And, and, but I wasn't interested. I was, I was uh, amused by what she was telling me, but I never showed no real interest to go to a court. Thank God though, because as I got older, I don't, I, I've been to court many times. <laughs> Definitely not someplace I like to go to. Oh, again, another one, okay? Oh, I don't like to go to court. Ain't nobody likes to go to court unless you're a lawyer. Because <laughs> you know you're getting paid, you know? But who the hell likes courts? No one likes courts. No one likes funerals. Um, nobody likes hospitals. I don't know if anybody likes morgues. I don't know. Um, but I don't think so. And uh, so, you know, so we just... I guess it's just a figure of speech or whatever you want to call it. But other than that, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to uh, just shout you guys out tonight. This is episode 77. We're doing really good. Really appreciate you guys uh, hanging in there. Um, it's been great. I look forward to doing this 
Um, I hope there's something, you know, I, I speak for about 20 minutes. I hope there's something in each of whatever it is I'm speaking that you could grab, whether it's something that may educate you on something, enlighten you on something, maybe, or, or just entertain you. If there's a little piece in there and I was able to do that, then, you know, okay, cool. That's cool. You know, I appreciate you guys uh, clocking in every night. Ah, so several of you. There's quite a few, quite a few. Um, remember, you have the Anchor. You can do it on Anchor.fm. You can do it on Spotify. You can do it on iTunes. I mean, uh, what's the other one? Uh, anyway, pretty much every platform that we have podcasts, you get the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. So, um see which one works for you and um, enjoy it okay and don't forget guys let people know about it i appreciate you until tomorrow good night freestyle before i lay me down to sleep i pray to hear a freestyle beat for if i die before i wake i hope to make it to the break